Okay, this lesson we're going to go over an application called Teacher. And it's found at a website called Socrative.com. This application is developed by a group of uh, students, actually, programmers, student programmers, teachers that are programmers, to develop this application that's a smart student response system that you can create quizzes, games, um, polls, and students can access this from smartphone, laptops, desktop, or any tablet device within a classroom. Or even if you teach online, it can be done as well. There is a teacher uh, app to download uh, from the App Store. And let's go ahead and get started. When you download it, it's called Teacher. It's on the bottom of my dock here on my iPad. One of the things you can also do is when you first start this up, it actually has um, where you can go in and manage quizzes. You go to manage your quizzes. You can create a quiz, import a quiz. On the importing of quizzes, um, you can import them from Excel or from another teacher that's created a quiz using this application. So let's start at the very top here. It gives you the room number, which I'll tell you in a second. That's what you're going to give students. How many students are in the room right now? There's zero. We have multiple choice, true, false, or short answer questions for the single question activities. The quiz based activities, quiz based, you have short. Uh, you can start a quiz, exit, start a race, which is a game. The create, edit, and import quizzes. I've already went over that. The my profile, you can change personal settings, uh, username, password, things like that. So I've already, I've already created uh, a quiz. I've used this generally for discussion starters and polls at the beginning of topics to determine the skill level of students. So let me go ahead and start one here. And you can do a student or teacher based or pace quiz. The student pace quiz is where students answer their questions at their own pace one at a time. The teacher paced is where you basically, you set the pace as a teacher. And the way I've used that for polls is I wait for everybody to finish the question once it's finished, um, we discuss the graph on the overhead because it's going to actually put a graph up there. You can, under advanced quiz options, you can randomize choices, disable immediately right and wrong feedback, uh, high question explanations. So let's go ahead and select one here. Do my like a 121 Excel class. I can do, uh, we'll do the teacher placed quiz, teacher paced quiz. So what it's doing here is it's waiting for students to come into the class and in order to for them to access the class, I'm going to go ahead and end the activity to show you how they're going to access that class or that quiz. So the instructions for the student here is already is on the screen here where they open a, uh, a computer, smartphone, other device that has a web browser with internet connection. Go to m.socrative.com is where they want to go to. I'm going to go ahead and log in right now on my phone to that website that's on the same network here. And while I'm doing that, just discussing that the students do need to, uh, don't need to be on the, on the same network as the teacher. They can be, like I said, and, um, just have to have access to a browser. As soon as um, students access that page, let me show you what it looks like on the iPhone. And they go to the m.socrative.com. Let's see if I can put this on the screen. Oh, 
Okay. So that's what it that's what it sees. If say if they access this from an iPhone, that's what they would see. And then they were to enter in the room number. It's nine three five nine four for my room number. So you would give them that instruction. And I'm going to show you here from the student perspective what they would see. It would just sit there and spin, waiting for the teacher to begin the quiz. So let me go ahead and start the quiz that I selected earlier. And I've started it. And now the students are going to see in just a moment here the first question show up. There we go. Please enter your last name, first name. Example, West, comma, Michael. Let's do the students follow that. Now I'm going to switch over to the teacher screen to where you can see that as well. See if we can get both in here. There's a teacher screen. You can see my name I was selected. I'm going to go on to the next question. Select next question to students. Or send next question to students. And it's prompting on their screen, how would you rate your skill level with Excel? Notice on the teacher screen here, it's giving a response, immediate response here. And maybe screens where you can see both. Go ahead and go to the next question. So you could pause here while the students are putting in their poll answers and discuss their responses. They are sent anonymous. Responses are, so I'm going to send the next question. Just on here, just thank you for your response. I'm going to hit done on the student side. Why are you taking this class? Work, personal, or credit? I'm going to put personal. And there's a response showing up on the teacher screen. And the teacher screen was the one that would be showed up, would be actual viewed on the overhead in the classroom. Now, only left of the teacher is to end the activity. Once they end the activity, and the student says, thank you for your response, done. It says to the student, activity is completed. Please wait for teacher to start next activity. 
And then they, as a student, can log out, and they're back to their main screen. Now, from a teacher perspective, you can immediately email this report and email it to my cconkle at gmail.com email address. And from there, I can view that report in an Excel format, which I can show you real quick, which is pretty nice to have, especially if you want to you know, keep that for further records. There it is. And, you know, if you have multiple students in the course, you could see the benefit of that, have their name and broken down by each uh, question in the Excel spreadsheet. Again, that's Socrative.com. Download the application. Begin using it in your classroom.